My name is Shane McGowan. I live in Southampton, New York. That's where I've created my business, Bad Karma Productions. Doing special effects, monsters. I am that thing that goes bump in the night. If I'm in character, nothing's taking me out of character. Work on about 10, 12 films a year. Working on this stuff at night, and then I'll be up at nine o'clock in the morning, climbing around on a roof or whatever else, doing somebody's tile in the bathroom, whatever, works work. Gotta survive in this economy. I've been drawing since I was a little kid, always drawing monsters, but I always draw it out before I sculpt it. Unless it's gonna take me as long to sculpt it as it would to draw, then it doesn't make sense. You know, something like a small quarter scale bust. I had been asked by Southam Press, the local newspaper, for years they'd wanted to do an article on me. The title was the prime season for Master of the Macabre, which I tend to be known for doing extremely horrific, realistic gore. And of course, I'm amused by that. I've actually fooled ER nurses. Uh, they've been in elevators at conventions looking at me going, excuse me, I work in an ER and I see this every day and you got it. Around 2002, I started working in a lot of haunted houses. So I tend to over exaggerate some of that. The thing about the haunted houses is you don't realize that I'm painting upwards of 30 kids a night in about an hour, hour and a half tops. No pressure, right? Piece of cake. I've been working with the Gooligans again. They were doing a new six episode series. I've actually had to enlist other makeup artists because in the month of October, I'm never available. I'm always working way too much. If I have to make a bunch of creatures like Mad Mooney's Lake, when we made the monsters for that one, I'd had about three months. I'd made a chest plate, I had arm pieces, leg pieces, feet, hands, head, a back piece, which was in multiple parts. I'd been approached by a, a friend and they needed a makeup artist for a legendary Nathan Schiff. He'd done a series of exploitation splatter films in the 80s, I believe, here on Long Island. We showed up that day with 11 gallons of blood and countless body parts, arms, necks, a chest piece that we, we gutted the man for that one. That one won Best Horror Short in the New York International Independent Film and Video Festival in 2008. That one was also in the official selection of the Coney Island Film Festival. Gotten to work with Linnea Quigley on several films with Victor Bonacore. One was Pretty, which was also in the uh, Coney Island Film Festival. Ice Cream Sunday, that was an official selection at the uh, Fantasia Film Festival in 2009, I believe it was. So the movies get out there and people actually get to see them. I particularly like when you can get a, any sort of reaction out of an audience these days. Unless you really reach out and grab them, they're just not gonna notice, they're not gonna care. My best friend Darren, who had started Bad Karma Productions with me back in 92, he got uh, stricken with cancer. I went upstate to visit him, literally stared death in the face, and scared him away for about a year. He was so, so emaciated. He had actually had to give up doing the makeup about five years ago and asked that I keep using the name Bad Karma Productions. You know, he'd always wanted to see it become something. So I'm trying to do my best with that. He finally uh, succumbed last May, a week before I was going up to visit him. That would have been quite a sight. I had a few things to show him that I'd just finished up, had been working on for a number of years, and he would have been ecstatic, but I'm sure he sees them now. This afternoon, I am preparing to do this horny demon. Got a set of fake teeth to go with it. Put it on with some AdMed, piece of cake. I made these out of latex, though the molds are made for foam latex. I just didn't happen to have any. Put the hair onto it. I have a few feathers that I intend to work into the headdress part of it. And it should look like a crazy demon, maybe like a Mayan entity, some sort of Aztec monster or something. It was uh, inspired by the bearded dragon in the, in the chin. I kind of like the protuberances in the bearded dragon skins. It's not quite reptilian on the rest of the skin surface. It's kind of just orange peeled and textured, leathery. The headpiece was kind of inspired by moths and insects, which I intend to paint a nice red today. The idea is that I've created this crazy demon that we're actually going to incorporate into a film later this afternoon. Figure why waste it? 